saw me walking by, Bird, and they called me an elephant. It happens all the time. People think I'm an elephant. Well, I know you're not an elephant, Snuff. Yeah, but I want everyone to know, Bird. Oh. I'm not an elephant. Don't mean to make a fuss. But I don't have floppy ears, because I'm a snuffle up a gush. Hear that? That is elephant. I'm not an elephant. So we're both big and kind of cute. An elephant's got wrinkled skin, and I'm wearing this shaggy suit. I love your shaggy suit, Snuff. <laughs> Thank you, Bird. You're not an elephant. Never was. Though in ways you look the same. Your snuffle's long like an elephant's trunk. But a snuffle is a snuffle with a different name. I'm not an elephant. Take a good close look at us. An elephant so elephanty. And I'm so snuffly up a gust. Snuffly, snuffly, oh so snuffly. Can't get enough of my good friend Snuff. I'm a snuffle up a gust. He's a snuffle up a gust. <laughs> a snuffle up a gust. Yeah. <laughs> snuffle up a gust. <laughs> oh, Bert, I, I hope I didn't make too big a thing out of this. No, you had to sing about it, Snuff. It was on your mind. Thank you, Bert. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of folks out there think that I'm a snuffleupagus, but I'm not a snuffleupagus. I'm an elephant. <coughs> oh, thank you for your time. Hi. Hello. Say, aren't you a, uh, uh... Elephant. Yeah, yeah, elephant. Is it true you elephants never forget? Yes, that's right. I'm a, uh, uh, uh... Alligator. Yeah, yeah, alligator. I can never remember that. How do you remember a long name like alligator? Well, I might think of a rhyme like, uh, See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. I could remember that. See you later, alligator. How about that car over there? Could you remember that car if you saw it again later? Sure. Uh, that car looks a little like a green bug. If I saw it again, I would think of a green bug. What is it you call those little black things that fly around? <laughs> That's the easiest of them all. They fly around, and they're called flies. I understand. If I can't remember something, I'll think of something else that would give me a clue. Thanks a lot. Bye. Um... Uh, See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Hey, what's happening, brother? Oh, yeah, yeah. About to get busy or what? You know it. Yo, should we do this now? Let's do it, Check man. this out. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go now. Stop that. Keep it going. Some things can be used again to make new things. Best we wash it. And load it in the wagon.
and bring it to the recycling center. And they sort it. And separate it with a magnet. And scoop it up. And load it in big trucks. And take it to the factory where they melt it and shape it and make it into a brand new can, like this one. And then we start all over again. Ooh, lion. There was an old lion called Ned, who opened the window and said, Needle Needle Noo and Tiki Tacky Patoo. And then he went back to bed. Ooh, lion. Oh, hello there. It is I, the Count. Yes, they call me the Count because I love to count things. Today I am going to tell you a story about when I was a very young little Count. Yes, I am going to tell you about my first day at school. The first day that I went to school, yes, I remember clearly. My mommy made me leave at home, the spiders I loved dearly. I felt a little sad as I walked through the classroom door. But then I saw more children than I'd ever seen before. Ha <laughs> ha, I cried, my new school will be fun. For I can count all of the children one by one. Yes, I'll count Gregory and Sue. That makes number one and two. I'll count Boris and Igor. That makes number three and four. Morris, Jane, and Eloise. Five, six, seven, if you please. Theodore and Adeline make number eight and number nine. And then I will count Ben. For Ben is number ten. Yes, there's Gregory, Sue, and Boris. Igor, Eloise. And Morris, Theodore, Jane, and Adeline, and Ben. And that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The teacher taught the alphabet. We had to learn each letter. The alphabet was not much fun, but then things got much better. The teacher said, my children dear, it's time for numbers now. Can anybody count to ten? A small voice yelled, and how? Just watch, I cried, before this class is done. I will count all of the children one by one. Yes, I'll count Gregory and Sue. That makes number one and two. I'll count Boris and Igor. That makes number three and four. Morris, Jane, and Eloise. Five, six, seven, if you please. Theodore and Adeline make number eight and number nine. And then I will count Ben. For Ben is number ten. Yes, there's Gregory, Sue, and Boris, Igor, Eloise, and Morris, Theodore, Jane, and Adeline, and Ben. And that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, everybody, all together now. Gregory, Sue, and Boris, Igor, Eloise, and Morris, Theodore, Jane, and Adeline, and Ben. And that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ha-ha, but those are only just some of the 
children in the gas. Next, I must count the rest of the children. Then I must count the children in all the other classes in the school. And then I will count all the children in all the schools everywhere. Ah, let me begin. There's Ermengarde, that's 11. There's Gerhard, that's 12. Renate is 13. Steve, 14. Bella, 15. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> yes? You expecting an order? Yes. I ordered five tall things. Well, here's tall thing number one. Oh, a ladder. Tall thing number two. A giraffe. Number three. A flagpole. And the fourth. A tree. And tall thing number five. A duck. But a duck isn't tall. Oh, hey, Phil, aren't you forgetting something? There you go. Five tall things. Now, word them up, about to get this thing going. Get busy. Bring your hands, go, 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 move your feet, go. Throw your go, hands go, in the air now. Go, 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 Everybody go, 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 What color is this hat? Black. 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 Right. Now, 
We've got to put a jacket on, okay? <laughs> it's probably going to be a little tight and thin. Once upon a time, a square was trying and trying to move a great big object. Another square came along and, after watching, offered to help out. Thanks, said the first square, and the two tried and tried together. A third square came along and, seeing they needed help, offered to pitch in too. Well, the other squares didn't know what to do. After all, this was a different looking square than they were. So... Finally, the second square said, Hey, this isn't working with just the two of us. We need help. That square offered it, and we should see if the offer still stands. So they asked, and the square said, Sure, why not? So the three of them went at it. <laughs> and sure enough, they moved it over. Everyone was happy. Especially the first square. Thanks a lot, it said as it went on its way. <laughs> The hat was a bit much, said one square. Uh, indeed, said the other. But they agreed that it's good when all kinds of squares pitch in together to help one another. Uh, waiter! Waiter? Yes, sir! Uh, oh, oh, it is you again. Well, it is certainly nice having you back again, sir. Yeah. Mm. Yes, now, what may I do for you? Well, Would I'd you like to see a menu. No, no. I I'd like a, a hamburger, please. Oh, a hamburger? Yeah. Very good choice. Mm -hmm. And you have another choice. You see, the hamburger in our restaurant comes in two sizes. Oh. We have a little hamburger, and we have a big hamburger. Mm. Uh, may I suggest you take the little hamburger? Oh, all right. Let me see it. All right. Very good, then. One little hamburger right away. Uh, make it very rare. Uh, yes, sir. Sing nitty bitty, Charlie! I get the ding -a every time I come in here. All righty. You said you wanted it very rare? There is our little hamburger, sir. Wow. That isn't, certainly is little. Isn't it sweet? Yeah, that's mm. hardly enough to feed a flea. I would not know, sir. We have never fed a flea here before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a waiter joke. Well, don't wait for the laugh. No. Look, I don't want this hamburger. You it's too not... small. Take that one back and bring me the big one. Oh, no, no, no. What you want is another little one. Maybe, you know, three or four little ones, but we have been having a lot of trouble with the big hamburger. Look, your yeah. trouble is no concern of mine. Uh, but, sir, I tell you as if... I... I want the big one. Take back this little one. No, no, no. Here, let me sit down and talk to you. I think you're making a big mistake. You see, first of all, I had the big well, hamburger. Well, you had a big hamburger. Yes, sir. I haven't got all day. All right, I warned you, I warned you. All right, Charlie. Broil the biggie. Boy, imagine the nerve of that guy trying to tell me what I want. I know what I want. I want the big... Uh, 
ketchup? The little bottle or the big bottle? Hmm? Ah. Gina, guess what? What? Today is your lucky day. It is? Yes. Oh. You have been chosen to play the greatest game in the whole world. Say the word. <laughs> and now, here's the host of Say the Word, the host with the most, in fact, the most host you'll ever see, Mr. Snuffle up again. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And thank you. <laughs> Snuff? Snuffy? What? What is on your head? Oh, that's real quiz show host hair, Gina. I uh. just had it shampooed. <laughs> yes. Well, Gina, are you ready to play our game? Oh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to play. Oh, it's easy, and it's very exciting, too. All you have to do is say the secret word Snuffy and I thought of, and you win. And we've got some really great clues here behind this curtain to help you think of the word. <laughs> yep, we can't wait to show you these really terrific clues. So what do you say, Gina from Sesame Street? Are you ready to play Say the Word? Yes, yes, sure. I'd love to. <laughs> We hadn't even started playing the game yet. And we didn't get a chance to even show you the great clues we had here. Oh, oh all right. Uh, what fun is that? Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I I'm sorry. I look, I would still love to see the clues. You said it again. Oh. You said the word oh, love. And we still didn't get to show you the clues. <sighs> okay, oh. okay. Um, please, please show me the clues. I would really like to see them okay i don't Please. know why we should show her the clues now bert she's already said the word yeah well we were going to show you these two ducks who love each other very much <laughs> yeah we thought maybe they would make you think of the word love oh yeah, but you're Sorry. so smart, Gina. You didn't even need the ducks. Oh, yeah. uh, come on, Snuffy. The show's over. I don't even know why I bothered getting my great quiz show host, uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Guys, guys, guys. What about the ducks? Oh, well, you said the word, Gina. You get to keep them. And they're very loving, no, no, too. No, no, Big Bird, you can have them. I don't want them, really. Big Bird? Hi. Oh, wait, wait, guys. Hi. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I really have a lot of work to do. Know where I'm going? I'm going to the city. Cause cities are exciting. Now how I'll know when I get to the city? I'll probably start seeing a lot of cars and trucks carrying things in and out and buses full of people. And there'll be lots of big buildings and stores and lots and lots of people. 
and houses all over the place. Boy, I can hardly wait. I'm going to have a lot of fun when I get to the city. I, I think I passed it. In my neighborhood, there are lots of beautiful murals. When we're going to make our mural, we're going to think about using different colors. Today we are going to learn how to make our own mural. Yeah. Can anyone think of any ideas from this park that we can use in our mural? Yes. Flowers. Buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Is everybody ready to do a mural? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Before we make our mural, we are going to meet a real mural artist. He's painting his mirror on the side of a building. Paul uses lots of bright colors in his mirror and pictures of animals and plants and people too. This is how it all starts. For example, all to make his mirror come out the way he wants, Paul first draws a picture and divides it into squares. Each square has a number. Red squares are one inch squares. Then he makes the same number of squares on the wall and fills them up just like in the drawing. Now it's time to paint our own mural. Our mural has a lake in the middle. around the lake. Just can't stay out enough. Our 
biggest thrill is on back in stock. Pull it out, drag it out, pull it out. That's what the out crowd is all about. Check out the out crowd. That crazy out crowd. Yeah, we're the out crowd. Up with the out crowd. We're in. We're out. We're in. We're out. And in and out is what it's all about.
where we go now, time to break loose. Go, 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 go. Check it out, everybody go, in the place. Go, 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 go. Check this out without a bit of a doubt. About to turn this party down. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Scribble Theatre. My name is Spike, and I'm your host. And here are the stars of Scribble Theatre, Curly and Itchy. Tonight's presentation is that classic thriller, Island. Itchy, would you mind changing it to seafoam blue? You're playing the water. As our story opens, we see an island. But how do we know it's an island, you may ask? How do we know it's an island? Water. You're supposed to be water. We know it's an island because it's a piece of land. Ouch, look out. Oh, sorry. A piece of land with water all around it. And as our story closes, we see an island. A piece of land with water all around it. Tune in tomorrow when Scribble Theatre will present Isthmus. Isthmus? What's Isthmus? You know, like Santa Claus. Oh, that should be fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, my dad works in a factory and mommy does too. And when they get home, oh, brother, there's still lots more work to do. So we always help each other. Yeah, we always help each other. Mom helps Dad doing the dishes and the doing of the wash. I help Mom do some gluing and the taking out the trash. All the washing and crushing was never more fun. Cause when we all do it, it soon gets done. in a grocery and I go to school alone in the sun or stormy weather but on weekends when we're home we always work together always work together dad helps me doing my homework and the making of my bed I help dad with the shopping and, and the baking of the bread all the shaking and baking was never more fun cause when we all do Here's Faye. Hi, Faye. Faye is going to turn into a... Can you guess? What's that? It looks like an, a green elephant. Maybe it's a different colored elephant. It, it has different spots on it. Yeah, that's what it is, baby. It has a trunk. Oh, I know what that is. It's a deer. It's a moose. No, it's not. It could be a cow with antlers. It looks like a deer with big fluffy ears to me. It's a toad. A toad? Or maybe it's a frog. It's, it's Kermit the dog. Oh boy, oh boy. A man is coming from the Metropolitan Museum of Trash to look at my trash art collection here. The museum has the world's greatest collection of trash art, and grouches go to look at it. So if he chooses one of these statues for the museum, all the grouches are going to be jealous of me. <laughs> well, here he comes now. Boy, I hope he takes one of these things for the museum. Hmm. Not a bad lamppost. If the light was cracked and it was tilted a little bit, uh... It would be really rotten, but... Ahem. Oscar the Grouch! The same! 
My card. Uh-huh. Let's see. Vincent Van Grouch, Grouch Curator, Trash Art Expert, the Metropolitan Museum of Trash. <laughs> Rotten to know you. <laughs> Rotten to know you. <laughs> so, Oscar, you have some trash art to show me? Well, uh, just a few of my favorite things. <laughs> you know, I don't know art, but I know what I like. Trash. And this stuff is really rotten. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Okay. What have we here? Well, uh, pull up the rope there, Mike. It's called Still Life with Umbrella and Bananas. What do you think? Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad? Hey, it's supposed to be bad. Uh, well, it's bad, Oscar, but not bad enough. We're looking for rotten. Well, it looks rotten to me. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. The umbrella is rotten, and the bananas are not. Hmm. Have you ever seen uh, Broken Dish with Rotten Fruit by Pablo P. Casseroli? Yeah. Every apple rotten to the core. Hmm. You see? That's what we're after. Yeah. Rotten. All right. What's next? Well, uh, this one here. Hold her up, Mike. Now, this one is called... Don't, don't, don't tell me, uh... Fried eggs on toaster. Hey, you really know your stuff, huh? <laughs> well, so you want it for the museum? Well, the toaster looks rotten. Whew, so do the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> ah. See here. What are you doing? You see, Oscar, she's weak. Just as I thought. The toaster works. This may be art, but it's not trash. Oh, man. I hope I can get my $3 back on that toaster. Hmm. What have we here? Boy, I hope he likes this one. I won't get anything in the museum. Haul her up, Mike. <sighs> interesting. Interesting. Some mud and some whistles. And what is this one called? Whistler's, Whistler's Mud. mud. <laughs> so, you want it for the museum, don't you? Well, the whistle works, but not very good. Mm. The mud is too clean, oh. but it's still gloppy. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. But it's not rotten. Uh, then, then you don't want any of my stuff for the museum? Oh, yes, I do. Do? I do. What? Oh. oh, it's it's wonderful. It's terrible. It's a masterpiece. Uh, what's going on? Ah, oh, Oscar, this is the rottenest trash can I've ever seen. I'm taking it where it belongs. The trash museum. Yeah, but what about me? I want you too, Oscar. This can is rottenest with you in it. Oh, flatterer. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it Trash Can with Grouch. You can be in our big new show, mm -hmm. The Cans Festival. Whoa, The Cans Festival? <laughs> heaven, I'm in heaven! <laughs> ah, yeah, it's time to get busy in the place. What's happening, my brother? Cool it out, want to do this? Yeah. Here we go! Bring go, it. go! Yeah, don't that stop? Rock till the hip and rock till the hop. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get some honey. Bees make honey from nectar. Nectar is the juice they collect from flowers. I see a bee there. I see two bees there. It's full of bees. And there's one. You have to be careful around bees. Sometimes they sting. Beekeepers wear protective clothing. Honeybees leave together in a hive. Smoke from the beaky. 
keep a smoke pot keeps the bees quiet. Then the beekeeper can take out the honeycombs. You can eat honey right from the honeycomb. Or you can squeeze it from the comb with the honey press. In July 1986, any eyeball PhD was studying a mud puddle and her wet shoes. Although the hot summer sun was beginning to make her perspire... I'm so hot I could sweat. She continued to ponder the puddle and her wet shoes. As the sun traveled in the vast backdrop of the summer sky, Dr. Eyeball did take a short nap but awoke to discover an amazing thing. Her shoes were dry, and the mud puddle was almost gone, disappeared into thin air. Thus began her untiring work with the wet. She watched wet floors, she watched wet clothes, and yes, even wet underarms. If she watched long enough, everything wet was eventually dry. The water just seemed to disappear into the air. Will we ever see the water again? Well, yes, exactly. Hi, Bert. Oh, hi, Ernie. Hey, I've been sitting here trying to think of what we could do with this here letter L. Oh, well, let's see. You know, one thing you could sing sort of a la-la-la song with the letter L. Uh, what do you mean? Well, there are all kinds of pretty words that begin with L. You know, you could sing a few la la la's and some pretty little words, and you'd have a nice little song. You know, la la la, like that. Sure, go ahead, uh, try it. Okay, let's see. Uh, la 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 la, lemon. La 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 la, light bulb. Uh huh. La 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 la, lamp post. This is fun. La 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 la, lump in my oatmeal. Well, that's not quite what I was thinking about, Bert. No? I mean, there are a lot of pretty L words, and I was sort of thinking of the ones that are more belting and lovely. You know, like, la, 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 laughter. Oh, yeah, I see. La, 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 lullaby. Ah, uh, like that, huh? La, 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 lollipop. Ah. Uh. La, 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 
lights in the sky. Oh, oh, Ernie, I got a great alloy. This is a beauty. Oh, listen to this. La, 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 linoleum. Uh, no, Bert, uh, listen to me. Because L is such a lovely letter. For words like licorice and lace, the letter L lights up your face, so why not la 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 with me? Wow! What's this? Someone has lost all their letters. I wonder where the L is. Ah, there's the L. I like L because I can make lots of important words. Life. Love. <gasps> Lizard. Woo! What a leap. And oh. What a lump. Oh, dear. Oh, I don't think anyone is coming. Oh. Hey, I heard that Snuffleupagus sigh all the way over at my trash can. Tell me why you're so sad. It might cheer me up. Well, I told a bunch of the kids on Sesame Street that I was starting up the Snuffketeer Club again. Uh, but I don't think anyone's gonna show up. Well, why would anyone want to join a silly club called the Snuffketeers? Well, Bird has the bird katiers, and you have the grouch katiers. Well, but being a grouch katier makes some sense. You get to do grouchy things. Well, the snuff katiers get to do snuffle up against things, like like visit my cave, Oscar, and every snuff katier gets to wear his very own snuffle. Gosh, the sn they get the oh. yeah. Hey. Hey, Oscar, uh, do you want to be a member? <laughs> this might surprise you there, Snuffy, but no. And I don't think anyone else is either. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, wait a minute. Here comes the first Snuffketeer now. Wait, wait. Oh, no. Slimy? Why in the world do you want to be a Snuffketeer, Slimy? Oh, you like visiting caves. <sighs> and look, look. There's a bunch more Snuffketeers. Come on, kids. This is great. We've got a real club now. <laughs> okay, I would like to call this first meeting of the Snuffketeers in a long time to order. Uh, let's start by doing the official Snuffketeer welcome. Everybody ready? Snuffles up and snuffles down. Snuffles up. And snuffles down. Snuffles hey. up and snuffles down. Hey, how long down. does this ridiculous the... hello go on here? <laughs> this is the best part of the meeting, Oscar. Uh, snuffles up and snuffles down. Snuffles up and snuffles hey, down. Hey, will you knock it off already? <laughs> the, the meeting's almost over anyway, Oscar. Thank uh, goodness. This is going to be a very short meeting because it's almost time for me to go home and take my nap. Uh, but tomorrow, we're gonna meet at my cave and my mommy's making snacks. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Come on, Slimy, let's go home. The silly meeting is over. Oh, it's not over yet. Uh, first, we've got to do our official Snuffketeer goodbye. Everybody ready? Snuffles down and snuffles up. Snuffles down and snuffles up. Snuffles down uh, and snuffles up. Sesame Street was brought to you today by the letters I and L and by the number five. Snuffles down and snuffles up. Snuffles down and snuffles up. Oh, I can't believe my pet worm is wearing a carpet in his head with a snuffle. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Bye-bye. Snuffles down and snuffles up.
Thank <laughs> you.